Guys, I planned the trip for the kids. So now we're going to Cape Town. I feel like as siblings, we haven't come together in a while. You know, it's been a pandemic. I'm Sfiso. I am Kanye's younger brother, the middle child of the family, essentially, the forgotten one. Ambulant. Hey, what's that prepare? Ah, Ipun has prepared. What's that prepare? 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 When you go to an auction, you know that guy that you hardly hear what he say? So that's long. Tata long. Eh, ngambisa mo ama ay sinfi. Ay, ay ang sabu yai. Lungile, we need two more chairs here. Yeah, I was late. No, can I go in? I was late. Can I take my plate? Yeah, let it do. Let it do. One there, one person. Come on, boy. Come on. I see a chair. I see. Two more chairs, please. Two more chairs. Lungile is a slug. You won't do anything. Yes, we saw the last two. Ah, what's up? Hi. This holiday. So you holiday should be. It should be on the seventh. Oh, we are trouble. We are watching. Sophia. I mean, just to set the table that he's going to eat on. Lungile! Aye, 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 aye. Booyah, booyah, booyah. Angaz, he's got some funny, drummy, Zulu element in him that doesn't work in 2000 and something. That's why it's me and selling up. Bali is the baby of the family. She's like the youngest sibling. She's the smallest. She's the last one in school. <laughs> Getting you. you last one. Told you. Told you. Told you. I'm coming, dog. Told you. <laughs> She's the most relaxed, and she never gets involved in conflict. Look, I've had my. Fallouts with Tandega. I've had my fallouts with Lumile. Tandega has had a fallout with different people. She's always trying to unite people. So she's literally the kumbaya of the family, you know, the baby Jesus. I missed you. I missed you more. Yes. Can you all be seated? Yes. It makes sense. You have to look at it. The eldest needs to be the one. Thank you. Which is? Kainzilemba. Oh, Kainzilemba is the oldest. <laughs> when were you born, Lungi? When were you born? <laughs> when were you born? Uh, I was born. Uh, I was born. 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 I try and be aware of why we're together and why we came down here. And he was just going on. Let the little boy speak. Let the little boy speak. You're about to get smacked. I think that's why Bazwana knows Piwe, because they forget that they are kids. Look at that, you're overstepping the line now. You have a step in the line now. There's always going to be someone who wants to have they say. It's always been there and I don't think it's going to ever end. Look, look, man. I don't know what to do. What do you want to do? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just had to cut him with him. Bro. Bro, can I... You know? Guys, on a serious note, on a serious note, guys, um... This lunch, honestly speaking, is, like we said, um, we, we haven't had time to really meet up as siblings. I realized, Buti, this is very important for us to come together. No one has to worry about driving back home, you know, leaving and going back to the kids, taking time out. And sadly, we wanted to Tandega here with us. Um, but she couldn't join us, Jim, unfortunately, um, with the kids and everything else. But we can just show gratitude but we're also here because our dad guys our dad is ill and that's also something that shook me and made me realize with you as a family we actually have an issue you know and we need to stand together it was weird how this trip came about and why it was so important I couldn't explain it until my dad's health started deteriorating and he started getting very very ill
So Pee has a grand idea. He was like, I could blow you away. And I was like, well, I could blow you away too. So I planned that I will take them onto a yacht and we'd go sailing. I get on the alcohol. Let it burn. Let it burn. Your it's a chore. Thank you, sir. Sfusa, I hate buff. Who the hell hates buff? Everybody loves buff. I'm just thinking about how Insta's gonna pop from this. I'm just gonna ask you to like maybe flex a bit of your muscles a little bit, just today. <laughs> I'll give a little fun bicep, maybe some tricep. <laughs> It was literally a photo shoot, guys. That's what it was, with music. I am the entertainment and the finance. That's my department. And when they give you a department, you must handle with pride. It was essentially a breakout time for Mbali, just so everyone knows that, yeah, Mbali is no more that little girl. It's time for her to obviously start enjoying life with us. We just want to have a good time, you know, enjoy our time out there. We are in Stellenbosch. The plan was obviously just to take a trip around this farm, enjoy the views. The segways are very nice and easy, okay? You go with your whole body and you gently lean back to slow down and stop. The first thing I want you guys to avoid now doing on these is just getting on with the pressure on the handlebars. You put pressure on those, it runs forward immediately. So I really want us to be easy on them, okay? And you guys look like you're shocked, you know? You look too serious. No. I don't want Anyone, I don't want anyone to think about this too much, you know, they're very nice and easy. Everyone's feeling uneasy. There's just a weird vibe amongst us. Everyone's just feeling weird. So I thought to myself, it's exhaustion. Sunday got phones while we were busy getting a tutorial on how to use the Segways. She first texts, actually, it's not looking good. Then I text back and I'm like, oh boy. My dad had after surgery complications. Then she calls me and she's like, I'm with him now. He's not responding. His organs are failing. It doesn't look good, but they still have hope. It's one of the hardest times of my life, having to tell, having to call my siblings. They're in Cape Town having a good time. And I'm gonna let everyone know, she's like, do you think it's a good idea? And I said, they're gonna get angry that Dad's health went west and we didn't tell them. And that's when I went to Lungile and I whispered in his ear and I said, dude, I just spoke to Tandega and dad is unconscious. He's not responding. His organs are not working now. They're shutting down. I think we're in for a crash now. I think he's really not gonna make it. And I was like, dude, don't say that. And then he was like, don't tell them. And I was like, I should, we need to tell them. Chantel, Chantel, I'm planning a game as. Hey, a game as Melus Fisa Sunday. Chantel, Ma, Sviso, my man, we won't get to Kulman or Tandega. That's that's hot stopped. Um, uh, that's hot stopped, and his organs are not working. But, but they're rushing to the hospital now. They've put him on a machine. Oh, Oh. Dad, his heart stopped for a while now. They've got him on a machine. They're trying to resuscitate him, sure. but it doesn't look good. It literally, yeah, just down the whole movie, thinking about should we go back immediately? It was a bit of a tough one to get through. It, it was weird how this trip came about and why it was so important and why we all felt it had to happen. I couldn't explain it until my dad's health started deteriorating and he started getting very, very ill until he slipped into a coma and it made sense that probably we needed to be together 
in the stock moment. Having everyone there with me made just things easier in terms of just getting through the day. We all believe that when someone is really ill, if we all go somber, we are draining their energy. We need to keep the energies up and keep moving for their sake. Just lean forward, everybody. Everyone yachts, but his activity was different on a farm, bro. And you're on two wheels. Wow, he's the man of the match. Give him his check. He's good. I told you it's gonna start again. The tule, ah, Nina, I'm a wooden mic. Come on.